Welcome back everyone to Game Dev Tycoon. I just uh, successfully researched Airplane. Titan and Vento has announced they will introduce a portable gaming device called Gameling. That doesn't look like anything I've ever seen before, I don't know about you guys. The device comes with a changeable game cartridge, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via connection cable. Super high technical technology, isn't it? Uh, compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the Game Link is underpowered, but the low cost will be excellent. Will the low cost and excellent support? Okay, you guys, you figured it out. Let's show us next month. Cool. Is there any cool contract work we can do? Four seven zero. Uh, nope, that's too much. All right, new game. Pick topic: airplane. Simulation, platform, PC, awesome engine. Uh, what do we call this? Light simulator is taken because that'd be too easy. This is an incredibly stupid title. More like pie lit. Am I right? Am I right, guys? <laughs> Oh, that's stupid. Pilot, more like pilot. Story and quest, not so much gameplay engine. Uh, maybe not so much gameplay engine. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Evolution simulation situations taking off the market sold 26,000 units generating blah blah blah. Uh, that wasn't very good. I'm not happy with myself here. Dialogue. I don't need to do anything on that. Artificial intelligence level design. Not that so much artificial intelligence maybe a bit more. I'm not going to do anything on dialogue. Hoping that those other ones will work properly. World design, not so much, eh? Graphic and we'll bump up sound, because sound has been the little runt of the letter. It hasn't gotten anything nice for Christmas. This is going to be a shitty game, isn't it? A shitty title and a shitty everything. There are a lot of bugs there, fam. The next game, Maurice, will be on the Gameling, and I got six bugs to work out. So, well, the Gameling, I assume that's a thing for the Game Boy. Game. Boy. Uh. New record for technology. That's very good. Level up in world design. Open world. Oh, I like open world things. First reviews are in. I am terrified. Ten. Ten? Nine? Ten. <laughs> kind of a game is this? It sucked. That was our highest game. Pilot, more like Pilot, was our highest game. Has sold over 50,000 units. It's an important milestone in history of Citizen Friends. I'm in shock. 100,000 units. This is an important milestone. Congratulations. You have made quite a name for yourself and saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow your company further than moving into a new office is the next step. I found the perfect office situated in a technology park. Would you like to move to the company mix double? Sure. And we're over a million dollars. Pilot. Wow. It's wow. I haven't even gotten it. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and wage a world-class development team, forge a world-class development team to make even better games. I didn't even get to, I didn't even get to do a game, did I do a game report? I didn't even get to do a game report. Is not gonna let me do a game report? Oh, I have to click on my guy. Oh, that got a 9.75 out of 10. Pilot, more like pilot. Star Games gave it a 10 saying, oh my god, a fan favorite. I'm in shock here. With growing interest in video games, there's also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. Marketing. Cool. Can we finish the game report, please? We are raking in the money with that. Great combination. Graphics seem to be important for this type of game. Platform audience. Good. 
So let's hire some staff. I can, can I hire staff? I can't yet. Fill posi okay, here we go. You have to com complete the staff management training before you can hire some. Okay. Uh, train. Staff management. So we're going to hire some people and then, um, like it is in real life, hopefully, um, they can take off some of the workload. And you can also divvy up like how much workload everyone gets when you're creating a game. So we'll see that in this episode, hopefully. So let's hire someone. We got that. Fill position. Um, cost, budget. We got two million, so why not make it an even one mil for budget? Uh, Pre-filter at complex algorithm. Nope. Game demo. Nope. Show sure. Let's do uh, game demo. I guess. I don't. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Pilot. More like pilot. Is now off the market. It sold 276 831 units, and generating almost two million dollars in sales. That one game propelled us to the top. The stupidest game e I've easily done. The Vena gear. Oh, this is a Sega gear, I guess. I don't know. Unlike similar devices on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Vena gear is basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. Vena gear is a full color system. With this device, top of the game lane, we'll see the Vena gear will debut in two months. Huh. I, I guess. Brandon Gonzalez. Warden Vector. That's a, That sounds like a... An actual name, not an actual name, but like Warden Vector. Jeez, Scott Ruro. Who has two R's in there? That's a weird last name. Oh, and Virginia Lamb. So, Brandon Gonzalez, Braden Gonzalez. I say that because that's how I was saying it in Paper Mario, which I or not Giant Gonzalez, the Great Gonzalez was Gonzalez. Braden Gonzalez. Experience level 2, speed 149, research 296, 16k a month. Okay. Warden Vector, level 2, speed 215, research 259, 21k a month. He has more speed but less research. Scott Rowe, level 2, speed 205, research 218, 21k a month. Might be Braden Gonzalez here. Level 1, 132. A lot of research there. I think I might have to go with Braden Gonzalez on this. Yeah, I'm gonna go Braden Gonzalez. Medium games. So, Braden Gonzalez is here. Let's find some contract work if there's anything. Oh, we can do sprite sheet software. Our staff needs to be taught how to use these modern technologies. We, the two of us can burn through that at record pace, and he's not working on it. Also, there's a meter next to each of us, which I guess if they reach the top, then we have to take- we have to stop doing things. D How- How did we not- mm -hmm. Brayden Gonzalez is on very limited time. Let's do some research, I guess. I'll do some research. Venegear- I mean, we did two months on that. Train. Oh, I could train myself, I guess. Uh, research. New topic. Time Ooh, time travel. We can do the Doctor Who game. Gonzalez. Uh, he's gonna train. We need to bring up that technology. Let's do... Welcome. Staff welcome, I guess. Staff welcome training. Because we're professionals. Uh, train. Um... Now, I guess all of these have a different effect. So, uh, game dev gems make me think. Game design for pirates. Don't repeat yourself. Code incomplete. So these all add to different things like design, technology, speed, research. Um, I'm gonna go. I don't know which one adds to technology, even though I'm gonna have them do all of these. So let's start with game dev gems, and I'm going to. No, I'm gonna start a new game. Pick topic, time travel, pick genre, adventure, pick platform. Uh, I want to go back to, no, I want to go back to PC for this. The awesome engine. Alright, do we do a Doctor Who game, or do we go more original than that? Save. Here we go. Sherlock and Doctor save C and F. The Doctor 
Sherlock and the Doctor save Sess and friends. Great. He's after we... It's going to be the sequel to Sess and friends save the world. We need saving now. Gameplay, not so much. Story and quests. Bump that up. Engine, move it down. Yeah, now we're, now we're cooking with fire, aren't we? And then once he's done researching, I guess he can help us. Ooh, dialogue, all the way up. Level design, not so much. Artificial intelligence, not so much. Level design, maybe a bit more. I hope. In two months, the G64 will be taken off the market. Good, I don't care about that console anymore. Not too many bugs on this. World design, all the way up. Graphic, not so much sound, not so much. Raiden Gonzalez, hurry up with that. Work on those bugs. I just did this entire game by myself. We're leveling up everywhere. Very nice. Release the game. Better user experience level editor. Ooh. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as Govador, the creator of the popular G64, has filed for bankruptcy. Govador failed to introduce a higher-priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64, the platform will retire the market from the market earlier next year. Alright, Sherlock and Doctor Safe Sess and Friends. Incoming. Uh, seven? Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Seven, okay. There's gonna be sevens across the board. Eight! Nice. And seven. Okay, so we got a 7.25. That's not that bad. Brayden Gonzalez. Boss, I've discovered that some really dedicated fans of Lifetime have created a fan game using a lot of the material from our game. They don't make any money from it, and it seems to do it for fellow fans. Our legal advisor strongly says that we shouldn't allow this to go on. What do you want to do? Well, I mean, they're, they're not making any money from it, and they're just... Let them be. They're not making any money from it, and they're having fun with it. They're just doing it for f for friends, you know? I don't care what our legal team has to say. Raiden Gonzalez, you're going to train some more. And, oh, that bumps up technology. Let's do Make Me Think. We're gonna make Raiden Gonzalez think. G64 is no longer supported. You released two games for a platform that earned a total of 225k. Me, I'm going to research... I'm gonna research on my research. Better user experience, I guess. That seems like the responsible thing to do. Hi, I'm Denise Reed, the main developer of Lifetime Fan Game. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I did and I just want wanted to say that I'm very grateful that you didn't. Southern Friends Limited is the best company in the world, and I'm glad I can be a part of the fan community. Yeah! We're the good guys. You have gained... <laughs> I love how the button is a smiley face. You gained 200, 294 fans. Yeah, see? You gotta keep the customers happy. They weren't making any money from it, and it was just, like, it was just for fans. They were just... That shows interest. That shows that they're interested in our company, and our brand, and our games, and the things that we do. And that was nice. I'm gonna have to beef up my own thing soon. Uh, research... Game topics, anything good? Cyberpunk, not really my favorite thing. Um, nope. Let's research. Ooh, that money isn't doing very well. How good is this guy doing? Nope, we're not gonna fire Braden Gonzalez. Alright, he's done. So, we're going to... Let's do a new game. Let's do a new game right off the bat. Or should we do contract work? Well, we didn't seem to do very well on it. Okay, we can't screw up a 5 and an 8. This has to be the same company. Okay, so now, see, we're both working on it. This should take no time at all. See, what's done. That was an easy 14k. Alright, develop new game. Topic. Huh. Let's go sci-fi again. Sci-fi adventure. Let's do it for something that we know will work. PC simulation. Okay. For everyone, and let's call it uh, Sess and Friends. No, didn't we already? That was for superheroes. Here we go. Clash of the Planets 
to... Galaxy at war. Damn it, that doesn't fit. Can I be an asshole here and do this? War. Nope. Galactic war. There we go. That's right, right? Clash of the Planets 2 Galactic War. Yeah, here we go. Gameplay not so much. Engine up. Uh, let's do it that. Let's do it like that. Let's just do it like that. And now we're both going to be working on it. So hopefully it means that more time and love and care will this. Dialogue all the way up. Artificial intelligence level design. Uh, just a bit of an adjustment. I don't know how much exactly. Sherlock and the Doctor save Sess and Friends is now off the market. It sold 30,000 units, generating 215 in sales. Not bad. But we can do better. World design up, sound, let's finish graphic. Let's finish this terrible game. It's not gonna be terrible. Oh, that design, man, that is. Ho! Oh. Gotta work on those bugs. That design, man, that is off the charts, dude. And Braden's leveling up, too. Let's release this game. Uh, new research available. Simple cutscenes, better dialogue, 2D graphics, version 3, 3D graphics. Oh, we can start bumping up the 3D graphics. Uh, Clash of the Planets 2, Galactic War. This better be good. Seven? Uh, nine? It's not bad. Seven? It's gonna be a nine or an eight. Nine! Oh, so that's in a solid eight game. Not bad. Not bad by us. I want to see more of those tens, though. Like, Pilot was... It's great. Let's do a... Generate game report. He's gonna do that, and I'm going to... Research a new topic. Oh, I don't want to do any of those. Let's research 3D graphics. I think that'll... Help us out. I'm gonna share this game report, and I think I'm gonna call it a video soon. Clash of the Planets 2 Galactic War, sci-fi adventure, great combination, sounds to him be not very important topic, audience, great. Oh, that was very good. Braden Gonzalez is still new to the team, a few more games on the team, a few more games and the team will have higher potential. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna have him uh, train while, he, while I'm doing this. Game design for pirates, go for it. And I'll do some training myself. Uh, let's do, don't repeat yourself. So we're all doing the same thing, we can find out what the somethings are. Uh, let's see what this is. I think... Yeah, he's... he's, he's uh, he doesn't have that much to go, and then we'll do one more. Right now. I'm gonna call it a video, because... Train... Oh, I actually have to send him on vacation, because his meter's a bit high. So I'm gonna send him on vacation. Clash of Planets! Two Galactic Wars now off the market. It sold 64,000 units, generating 449k in sales. Not bad. So he's on vacation, so he just fades out for a bit. Train, and I'm gonna train for code and complete, and I'm gonna call it a video, guys. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Enjoy hitting like button, subscribe, not if already. Pilot, pilot, more like pilot. Was the highest-rated game that I've ever made. Venna has announced that they will release a new game and console in two months. The Venna Oasis comes with. 16-bit graphics sound, which promises a new kind of game experience. Cool. Venna said at the announcement, the Oasis is a new start. It will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well on the market. Some of the games already announced for a console suggest it will appeal to more mature audiences. Okay. So, I'm going to call it there, guys. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I love this game. This is a very fun game. It's very cheap. It runs very well. Uh, even with all of my recording gear going on. So I assume if you have a better computer or something like mine, it'll run great. And it's very addicting, so be careful. And it's like uh, your typical simulator, but except you're, that you're making games. And it's just a lot of trial and error, and it's a lot of fun. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and take care of yourselves.